YouTube basically has like this members only club. If you have over 10,000 subscribers, you're actually able to go into the space and create content. They give you uh, the equipment. They give you uh, space, um, like audio equipment, podcasts, anything you want to create. And it's free just because you have over 10,000 subscribers. You actually you know kind of join that club and get in there. So me and Don kind of experienced <laughs> uh, something when, you, when we went there. So... Uh, I, I walked into it first, but I didn't really say nothing, but I seen Don's face when he came back. So uh, I walked into the bathroom, and as soon as I walk into the bathroom, I see a white woman washing her hands. So I kind of paused. I was looking around, so I walked back out. Yeah, set up. <laughs> I walked back out to see if I walked into the woman's bathroom, but it didn't say anything. It just said restroom. So I walked back in. And, you know, she's walking out this time, so I kind of, like, go into one of the stalls. And once you walk into the stalls, it says gender-neutral restroom. And you you could take it from there because I would. I, so I I'll tell you my experience <laughs> from my point of view. I we sitting down at the YouTube space waiting to do the podcast. I believe it was with control. Control the narrative. Control the narrative, right? And they called us in to go to the podcast. So I said, hold on, before we go, let me just run to the bathroom because I don't want to get up in the midst of me shooting some content. So I asked the lady. I said, where's the bathroom located? She said, right down the hall. I'm like, great. I get up. I start walking down the YouTube space hallway and I'm looking for the bathrooms. I'm looking for the men's bathroom, right? So I'm looking around and I'm like, I don't see no men's bathroom here. So I'm looking. So I walk all the way down the hall. I don't see a men's bathroom. So I come back and I see a door and it says bathroom on it. So I'm looking strangely at the door because it just says bathroom. No men, no women. I didn't read that it said gender neutral. It just says bathroom. So I'm looking at this door and I stop and I pause. I'm like, oh no. Why did I don't even know what kind of bathroom this is? So I'm looking around for some like one of the employees at YouTube and I'm like, hey, what kind of bathroom is this? He's like, oh, that's a gender neutral bathroom. And I'll be honest with you, I don't normally curse, but what I said at that moment. When he said that, he said, yeah, man, this is a gender neutral bathroom. I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what you mean a gender neutral bathroom? I never heard of these before. <laughs> Word. I'm mad confused, but I got to go. So dude just said it real nonchalant. Like it was just like, oh, that's just what it is. So I'm like, man, I have the bathroom. So I go in. I'm checking around because it could be somebody in there. A woman. Nobody's in there. So I go into the stall, open it up. Everything is super enclosed, so it's not like one of the regular restrooms where you can look underneath or over the top. You know, it's all enclosed. And then right on the front, it's right on the front of the wall. When you first walk into the actual stall, it says, please close door behind you. This is a gender neutral restroom. So I got to close the door behind me and I'm going to the bathroom, whatever. As I'm going to the bathroom, though, I, I hear a toilet flush and I hear heels knocking in the bathroom i'm ready to, to leave but i'm like oh no i'm not leaving this job i'm like it's a woman in here right now this is mad weird so i'm staying in the bathroom and i wait for i wait for her to leave don't know who it was and then i, I come out peek my head out the bathroom <laughs> make sure everything was cool i quickly wash my hands and now i leave and i'm walking back and i'm looking right at you and i come back over and i'm like yo that was crazy yo you know, like, and I say to Dan, I'm like, yo, they got gender neutral bathrooms inside of this YouTube space. That's mad weird and that's dangerous. So I go to social media and I say, yo, they got gender neutral bathrooms in the YouTube in the YouTube space. Hashtag dangerous. And everybody started hitting me up and talking about some why. We live in 2019. Why do you say that's dangerous? All right, man. So. See, first of all, we, you about to say stuff that people ain't going to like to hear. So, let's, let's just, I, honestly, so if you want to cut it off, cut it off. I'm bro. not. Hey, listen, man, <laughs> to me, I tell the truth at all times. Yeah. I'm not about to say a sugarcoat, no situation. The reason why people like me is for me. If you don't like it, you clicked on this video. I didn't tell you to. I'm just telling you the truth. Number one, the reason why it's dangerous. In a world where we are African-American men. Do you know what type of situation that the YouTube space put me in by me accidentally walking in that bathroom and there's a white woman in there and she could possibly say that I touched her or that I raped her? 
Do you know how easy that 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 is? How how easy that is? Or let me tell you how easy that is. Because for a lot of people that don't know about the law surrounding rape, right, or uh, sexual misconduct, about a, about two years ago, I was at a jury duty, my first time doing jury duty. I go, they didn't tell me about the case. So, of course, I accepted it because I was very excited about doing jury duty for the first time. I wanted to serve my community. They, they accept me. The next day, I go find out about the case. It was a rape case. Black guy, young girl that was like 14 years old, right? Now, one of the things I learned, now this could, this could only be for the state of Pennsylvania. I'm not sure what the laws what are the surround, what are the laws in other states it could be different mm -hmm. but in the state of Pennsylvania what they told me was don on cases surrounding rape is not based off of evidence or fact it's based off of testimony so it took me about 3 days to wrap my mind around that and everybody that was in the room was ready to just say the guy did it not to say that that, that 15 that that 14 year old girl didn't really get didn't really get raped and that he did he did something to her. i don't know but the point is i don't know and in pennsylvania when i was sitting there in jury jury duty it was only based off of that girl's testimony of her saying that this is what he did to her and as long as i believed her i could convict that man of rape it's all you need the, on many occasions, I've seen other individuals that I know. For example, the, the most recent one is one of the basketball players from Philadelphia who went to, I can't remember what school that he went to, a college he went to, and he went into sexual, he had a sexual interaction with, uh, with a white girl at the school. She told her family that he raped her. Next thing you know, I think she like uh, recanted her story and he got off, but his reputation is ruined. He got kicked out of the school. He was on his way to the NBA. So do you know how much of a sticky situation that the YouTube space put me in by having a gender neutral restroom there that I walk into and I could possibly get him, get myself into a lot of trouble? Sure, they ain't, they ain't give us an option either. And there, and there was no other options. Like, I could, like, oh, you don't want to do gender neutral. It's a men's restroom right there. It was only a gender neutral. That is dangerous for black men. I agree. Very dangerous. And not to say it's not dangerous for all men. I'm speaking for black men specifically because of what we go through. That is dangerous, bro. And for me to be sitting in front of a judge with a white woman sitting across and the judge right here is a white man and the jury is full of, is full of, uh, full of white people as well. Who do you think they about to believe? Me or her? And I didn't do nothing and I could go away for years just based off a of testimony if she literally is a star on that on that uh on that stand. A star. Stellar. Bro, that's serious situation, man. And I wouldn't like that's dangerous. Number that's so that's my that's number one. That's highly dangerous for me. Highly dangerous for all of us as African American minority men. And number two, what if I trusted my 14 year old daughter to go to the bathroom on her own? And there was some creep in the bathroom waiting for my 14-year-old daughter to go in there so that he could molest her or inappropriately touch her or, or look at her in some nasty way because he's inside of a gender-neutral restroom preying on little kids. Legally. Legally. Just in the bathroom washing his hands and just looking. Dog, that's like, yo, that's so inappropriate, yo. Like this whole gender neutral bathroom thing is so inappropriate, dude. Like when I saw that, I was I was I was furious, furious. Cause I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Now, I, of course, everybody's going to try to say, "Oh, it's because the world is you know." Because now you got people who are transgender, this that, and everybody wants to be accepted. Dog, I, honestly, no disrespect. I don't care about none of that. That was not thought through in no way, shape, or form, yo. True, this I mean, it, it, it wasn't thought through in no way, shape, yeah. or form, and it could put people into a lot of danger. And I still, I think at the same time, women 
should feel that same feeling. At, what? You know what I mean? My wife should feel that way. Walking into a bathroom and there's men in there. I don't want my wife going into the bathroom with men in there. Absolutely not. It should be private for a reason. And number three, there's, I, to be honest with you, I don't understand the concept of neutral. What does that mean? Somebody explain it to me. What does neutral mean? That's a good question. Like, man, like, I don't know. Like, there is man and there's woman. Yeah. What, 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 what the hell is neutral, dog? When God, this is just what God created man and woman. That's just a fact. That is a fact. We ain't going to argue that. He created man and woman, and man and woman is meant to reproduce, to create more man and woman. So where did neutral come into where we were all the same? Because we're not the same. We don't even got the same physical features. Our system, our reproduction, like all of our, our systems are, met, are, are drastically different. So where does this word neutral coming from? So to me, like, honestly, man, that whole situation at the YouTube space was mad weird. You know, it was mad weird. I felt very uncomfortable. And I probably would never walk into a gender neutral restroom a day again in my life. It's just so funny, though, that I was that same night I was I was telling my wife about I was telling Dana about that whole experience. And I said to her. Probably about 40 years ago. My grandmother probably couldn't believe that we all have cell phones in our hands now and we're able to FaceTime and connect with people all across the country because 40 years ago that wasn't possible. So you got people from 40 years prior living in these times right now of things they've never seen before. And I started to ask myself, what is it that I'm going to see in 40 years that I don't agree with or I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like just imagine in 40 years. Everything is a gender neutral bathroom from now on. And now I got to tell my kids, yo, I've never seen this before, dog. Like, I, this is crazy. I just, man, it's just, I think that's something that got to be thought through. I'll tell you this. With our company and any of the buildings that we have, there will never, ever be a gender neutral bathroom. Never, ever. I would never put anybody in that kind of danger. I would never put women in that kind of danger. I would never put my kids or anybody else's kids in that kind of danger. Because the way that I love my children, the way I love my wife, I'm going to treat your wife and kids the same exact way. And the way that I, I care about me, I'm going to care about you that same way and say, I'm not about to put you in that line of danger, bro. Let me ask you Not this. happening. What bathroom is uh, Caitlyn Jenner supposed to walk into? Well, technically, she's a woman, so she walks into the well. I, she walks into the women's bathroom. You know, I I, th I thought that's how it went. Don't quote me. I thought that's how it went. You know, and now they created the neutral vibe. So I don't I don't know, bro. But honestly, that's not my flavor. You feel me? I don't agree with. Not it's not to say I don't agree with. Not to say I don't agree with people's sexuality. This 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 conversation has nothing to do with sexuality. Nothing to do with sexuality on who you like, wh whether you're transgender, or whatever. I, whatever you do, that's your business. Same way as my business. I like women. Some people like men. Others want to be trans. Hey, that's cool. Whatever you do, cool. But when my livelihood starts to come into play, because of, come on, we like I, my livelihood shouldn't come into play because of that. That's just that's just ridiculous. Yeah, man. It's more of a safety. Yeah, safety no, it's, that's a safety. Day. That's a, this is a safety issue. That we need that we need to get resolved. Like I, I I would never have that inside of any of our buildings. So that was just the experience, man. Had to talk about it because again, honestly, that's what I talk about. I I'm not afraid to tell exactly what happened and how I felt. If you if you agree, then cool. If you don't agree, I'm cool with that too. You know? I'm cool with that too.